Are you on TikTok? Do you want to grow your following on TikTok? Well, to do that, you need to tell an effective story. And if you're somebody that likes to make short TikToks, then you need to learn how to tell a story within 15 seconds. And that's what this video is about. I'm going to tell you how you can tell an effective story in just 15 seconds. Now, when it comes to a 15 second video, you really don't have much time to work with. So because of that, your options are very limited on what exactly you can do to tell an effective story. However, you can still tell a very effective story in that time frame. Now to do this, we need to break those 15 seconds up into three segments, your intro, your explanation, and your conclusion. Once we can break our video down into these three segments, you're gonna be able to tell an effective story. Part one, the introduction. Now when it comes to introductions, a typical introduction, you introduce yourself, you introduce what you do, and you introduce what you're gonna be telling your audience. However, you're restricted to 15 seconds. And because of that time restriction, you really need to make sure that you don't go more than five seconds with your introduction. Now because of this, we can't have a full introduction. You have to keep things as brief as possible while still introducing what you're gonna be talking about. Now instead of actually introducing yourself and telling the audience who you are and what you actually do, all you need to do in your introductions for these 15 second TikToks is just establish what you're gonna be talking about. The more brief you can get with this while at the same time explaining everything you need to explain in your introduction, the better. And you also need to keep in mind that an effective story hooks people in right away. So to have an effective introduction, you need to make sure that you're able to hook your audience immediately. Like I said, your introduction shouldn't go more than five seconds, but this is actually plenty of time to hook your audience for your short video. The sooner you can get to your point, the better for your audience. Your audience knows that you're time restricted, so they just wanna know exactly what you're gonna be telling them. So you don't have any time to add any type of fluff to these videos. Once you get straight to the point, your audience is more than likely gonna be hooked because of your introduction. And don't worry, later on in the video, I'm gonna give you the perfect example of how to tell a 15 second story. Now that we've hooked our audience and we've told them what this video is gonna be about, the next thing to do is to explain what you told them you're gonna tell them about. This is where you really need to keep your audience around. You've done the hard part, you've got them through the first few seconds of your video, they've stuck around, and now they're really anticipating you telling them something that they wanna know. And that's a big key in the storytelling process. Your audience is expecting to hear something related to something that you told them in the introduction, so that is what you have to stick with for the next five to seven seconds. You can't veer off from what you told them you would tell them about. Your audience stuck around because they're expecting to hear something that you told them you would tell them about. So think of it like this, your introduction laid out a path for your audience and you need to follow that path through to the end. If you try to veer off that path, you're gonna lose your audience. And the whole goal of these videos is to have your audience watch them all the way through. And it's for only 15 seconds. So if you can't retain your audience's attention for 15 seconds, then you're clearly doing something wrong in your storytelling process. So remember, you have to stay on the path that you set for your entire story in your introduction. Whether you asked a question, whether you said you're gonna give a tip, whether you said you were gonna tell them about how to cook something, you need to stay on that path throughout your whole video. And that way, your audience is gonna stick around for the whole duration of those 15 seconds. However, again, because you're limited on time, you have to give a very brief but very detailed explanation of what your audience is expecting to hear. Keep it as detailed as possible, but as brief as possible at the same time. And I understand that hearing that for the first time might sound a bit tricky, but trust me, with more and more practice, this process gets a lot easier. You don't have to go into an explanation that's gonna take you minutes and minutes to actually explain. So if you're able to get all the details out in those 15 seconds, you're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine throughout your whole storytelling process in this short time frame. This middle part, this explanation, it's gonna be the longest part of your TikTok. Again, you only have 15 seconds, so it's not gonna be that much longer than the beginning and the end of these TikToks. However, this is where you really sell yourself to your audience. You already have them hooked based on your intro. Now it's time to really sell them on yourself based on this middle part of your story. If you give your audience what they want and you're telling it in a way that is appealing to them, they're gonna stick around to the end of your TikTok. But again, in this middle part, you're only explaining as brief as you can with as much detail as possible. So it's very easy to get carried away. And when you get carried away, you're gonna lose track of time. And when you lose track of that time, you're gonna run out of time and not get everything that you need out in that same TikTok. 
Now we're gonna move on to the third and final part of our TikTok, and that is gonna be the conclusion. You've already hooked your audience in with your intro. You gave them the explanation that they wanted throughout the middle of that TikTok. And now it's time to have a solid conclusion. Like your intro, this has to be a very brief part of your TikTok. Mostly because the middle part of your TikTok is gonna take longer than any other part of that whole TikTok. And when you only have 15 seconds, you don't have much room for a conclusion. So a very simple and quick way to actually have an ending to all of these 15 second TikToks is to have a quick call to action. Now, what is a call to action? This is just something that's gonna to explain to your audience what you want them to do after watching your video. Now, specifically on TikTok, this is gonna be where you ask your audience to follow you, to like your video, to comment on the video, and to share your video. Now, you don't have to ask your audience to do all of those things, but this is the part of your video where you can really make true fans. Now, like I said, you don't have to ask for all of those things that I said earlier, whether it be a follow, a like, a comment, or a share, but you should ask for one of those things at the end of your TikTok. That way your audience knows that you're speaking directly to them and that you want them to stick around for future videos. And you really only need a few seconds to do this. And if you can do this effectively, you successfully concluded your video of only 15 seconds. Now I'm gonna bring out my phone and we're gonna make a 15 second TikTok. Now we're gonna go through each of the three parts that I mentioned when making this 15 second TikTok. So first, comes the intro. Beginner photography mistakes, part one. You see how that was? I established what I was gonna talk about right away. I got directly to my point. And for anybody that's looking for photography mistakes, they are automatically gonna be hooked into this video because they're curious as to what I have to say about what the mistake is. Now I established that this is part one. This is going to help you out later on. It's gonna help you have more followers in the end, mostly because people are gonna be expecting to hear more of these options, more of these photography mistakes, because you established that this is gonna be a mini series. Now we're gonna move on to the middle part of the TikTok, and that is where we're gonna to have to explain what our photography mistake is. Rushing your shot. Rushing your shot is very easy to do because all you wanna do is take pictures and take as many as possible but you really need to take your time to get the best shots that you can. As you can see, I'm giving my audience what they want with the explanation that I gave. I told them what the mistake was and I told them what they could do to eliminate that mistake. Now we're gonna move on to our conclusion and this is where we're gonna end our TikTok on a high note, on a call to action, so that our audience knows what to do next. Be sure to like and follow for more tips. It's that easy. I gave them a simple call to action. I asked them to like and follow if they want to know more photography mistakes. Now, I know this story wasn't a long story, but like I said, we're restricting ourselves to 15 seconds, but people are getting the information they want based on this video. And there you go. That is how you can tell a story on TikTok in just 15 seconds. Now, a quick review of what you learned in this video. One, have an intro that hooks your audience. Two, explain what you established that you were gonna talk about in your intro. And three, have a very brief conclusion, but also include a call to action. Have those three things in your TikTok videos, and I promise you're gonna have a good story every single time. Now, no worries, you're gonna get to see the TikTok I made in a few seconds, but now's a good time for me to follow my own advice and have some call to actions. So, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And while you're at it, you might as well leave some comments below telling me what struggles you feel you have when you're trying to create a TikTok. Oh, one more thing. Follow me on TikTok, at Dare to Capture. You have plenty of good stories that you can watch, plenty of good tips, a lot of things that you can learn on my TikTok. So, that's all I got for you today. I'm Steven from Dare to Capture. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Beginner photography mistakes? Part one, rushing your shot. Rushing your shot is very easy to do because all you wanna do is take pictures and take as many as possible. But you really need to take your time to get the best shots that you can. Be sure to like and follow for more tips.